Writing was always a hobby of mine. Most of the time, I didn't understand what I was writing. But I liked to play around with letters, even if randomly. My teacher would often chastise me for it. But I still loved to write regardless. When I was in middle school, at approximately 14 years old, we had an art class. My teacher was very encouraging. She discovered my talent and I used to give my colleagues calligraphy homework even though we were all the same age. When I was 16, I became determined to learn calligraphy. I registered at the Calligraphy Institute and studied there for approximately four years before I obtained my certificate. After four years, my teacher suggested that I could teach this art form to other young people. I found this difficult. I was anxious and did not have a lot of self-confidence. However, teaching helped me a great deal and gave me confidence. I started teaching different classes for children and adults. I also continued my studies in art and calligraphy. And this helped me meet some prominent professors, such as Professor Israfil Sirchi and Professor Ayneddin Sadiq Zada, both of whom have their own special methods. I started learning under them and progressed quickly. Since I loved the academic environment within the art and calligraphy sector, I held a painting and calligraphy exhibition in 1990 at the famous BD Gallery. I liked my first exhibition because I was determined to use poems written by a woman. At the time, I really loved the poetry of Simen Behbahani. Since painting played an important role in art and calligraphy, I thought it was important to discover and get inspired. I started researching contemporary Iranian painters, such as Hussein Zanderudi, and Mas'ud Arab Shahi. Of course, over the years, I tried different things, including visiting museums, to figure out how they got to where they were. In any case, art history is important for artists, no matter the media. I had always loved reading and I would read books on art and calligraphy. I tried to read books by famous artists so I can stay up to date while also reading books about old masters. Iranian calligraphy is old and extends over 800 years. I really loved learning about old masters and how they reached success. I 
For me, I can summarize the secret to my success in three words. First, determination. If I had not been determined, I would have quit this field of art many times. But determination and love for this path kept me going. Second, focus on my art and not getting carried away by the obsessions that can tempt us as humans to switch our focus. Artists must explore different types of art. I personally love to try drawing, gilding, and sculpting. But if I had entered into different fields, I wouldn't have been able to master painting and calligraphy. As Muradi Kermani says, I borrowed from other fields and stopped obsessing about such borrowings in my life and in my art. Many young people who enter this field of art are not particularly good at calligraphy and want to immediately explore contemporary aspects of it. However, this causes a gap in their knowledge because artists who want to practice this art form need to focus on calligraphy, otherwise they may not be successful. I would encourage them to learn about the history and prior impact of calligraphy before entering into painting and calligraphy. They can be more successful this way.